Yes, people. We are live, blood. We are back again. Another week, another ep. We got the man them, as always, blood. You get me? We got the chat. We got the mods. Make sure you like the thing. Make sure you share the thing. And make sure you subscribe to the Blood Clark Ting, blood. You understand? Subscribe to these Walads as well. You get me? Their channel is in the link. You get me? Um, as you can tell, things never went my way last night, blood. You get me? Things never went my way, blood. Man, I'm saying I should be on the bottom. Pause. Say no more. Say no more, blood. This is what I deserve on my own channel. I'm going to get it on the pod anyway, so I might as well get used to it down here, blood. No diddy. But, uh, yeah, we had Champions League football last night. Yeah. The second leg of our tie in Germany against Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich won, Arsenal nil. Bayern Munich go through 3-2 on aggregate. Arsenal falter at the quarterfinal stage again. Apparently, Arsenal admin are proud of the club going out of the quarterfinal stage. Um, I'm surprised they never blocked me, blood. You understand? They blocked Lewis. They blocked that CFC mod brother. Uh, but they have not blocked me and Gunner. You get me? Um, I'm sure you lot saw the reply. They just need to piss off, mate. You get me? And to make things even worse, they want to post Wolves versus Arsenal on Saturday evening. Fight till the end. But I didn't see no fucking fight in the second half, blood. You get me? I saw 11 cowards. Okay. If we're being deadly serious, blood. You get me? Let's just say it how it is, blood. You understand? <laughs> These men are just there loving life. You get me with their rubbed out clubs. It's not even like their club's in a good position. No, Diddy. Their club are worse off than mine. But this is what it has come to. They are preying on my downfall. And, and my downfall has begun. This it's season. all I have left. It's all I've got left, fam. Ian Bill settings. It's all I've got left. I I, I agree. Just let him talk here because... We got cups to we got cups to go 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 go, go try winning this weekend. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Man down there. True that, true that. I, forgot. I forgot. Oh no, go ahead. Sorry, really interrupted you. Go on, you carry on. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. From the bottom of my heart, fuck you, lot, blood. Yeah. You're going out on the weekend. Just remember that. Well, one of you definitely are. The next one's going to the final and getting embarrassed because City's, get me, taking out their anger on someone. No diddy. And it's going to be one of you, blood. You get me? So, you understand? Lower your chest, blood. You feel me? But, yeah. What are you not saying? Well, I just want to start off with one thing. I've got two people that I need to shout out. Johnny Minerals and Chelsea Old Boys. Big up, Johnny. Rest in peace, Chelsea Old Boys. We see things they will never see. Facts. We may be in the mud. This is not Chelsea. But we see things they will never, ever see. Two stars. The only club in London with those two stars. The only club in London with the Champions League times two. The club in London that put London on the map is us. Yes. So from the bottom of my heart, troops, may Arsenal continue to suffer and never, ever have a European trophy. Because this is what I'm currently living for. We're shit right now. We're in the FA Cup semis, cool. But still, that was sweet. Sweet. You know, I went to school in North London. I was terrorised during the years when Arsenal 
were absolutely just Henri, Lundbergs, Perez, Vieira, Burkamps doing invincibles and all that madness. Every week I had to go to school. Thierry on readers. Thierry on reader. Lundberg this. Burkamp that. So I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I'm so happy at what happened yesterday. I'll let traps go now. Um no did he 72 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Someone in the chat needs to now contact Munich police, uh, Metropolitan police, because I feel like the plan's passed now. We need to find Bakayo Saka. We need to find him. Yeah, he's, he's completely disappeared in the last 72 hours. But obviously, you have to wait for a certain period before you can report someone as a missing person. It's time to report him as a missing person. Honestly, you know what? Arsenal is a football club. Yeah. I respect the football club because the football club has been doing what they've been doing. I've seen I've seen many battles against my club, prime for prime. But you know what, yeah? You see you fan base, you have to hold that, yeah? Because you, man, went into this blind. I tried to warn you, man. I tried to implement some self-awareness. Let you, man, know that the Allianz... I told you, man, I have seen Prime Man United go to the Allianz and shit themselves. No! We're a different team. That's all I keep hearing from you, man. But yet, again, the same outcome. Listen, I want a national holiday. I want a national holiday. April the 9th, yeah, I want it to be a national holiday. Arsenal National Bottle Day. That's the day where everything begins to go downhill. April the 9th. And you know what, yeah? Look. Cool. You've made progress. You're usually out round the 16. You made progress to the quarterfinals. And it was guy, it was it, it was it was level until you know Kimmich with the bullet. You get me? Mm, you get me. So you will have to hold that, innit? And all these songs, all these songs you not be singing about Arteta are gonna win the Champions League and um, the defence is in trouble and Ketty is in the room. 60 million down the drain. Kai Havertz ain't been seen for about a week. All of that shit. Yeah, you have to hold that, man. And I'm enjoying it. Like Goonie said, this one was sweet because you, man, fought. You, man, disrespected the Champions League. Bear yeah. in mind, you've seen better Arsenal team go for, go to the, go in this competition and bottle it. You, man, fought, yeah. Bayern Munich got this one. This is the problem with you, man, as well. You, man, look at all the wrong things. This one's out. Gnabry's out. Muller's on the bench. Da, 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 da. <laughs> look inside yourselves, yeah? Realise who you are, yeah? You need to work on that. You need to work on that. That's what I'm saying. You need to work on that. <laughs> and so, man, so has, hashtag pray for Bayern. I was like, what is the asset? Bring us Madrid, they said. Bring us Madrid. I didn't say Bring that. Nah, not you. Madrid. Not you. I saw I, I saw Igal with his combined 11s again. I saw him talking about, yes, bring Bayern Munich. Revenge. Revenge. Bring Bayern Munich. We're going to destroy Bayern Munich. All that kind of talk. That's what I was seeing. How dare they try and rub out Champions League heritage like Bayern Munich. How dare they? Like, it counts for nothing. You know what it is as well, Goonie? They get so many warnings to be humble and they just don't accept them. Group stages, yeah? Lens, yeah? Lens away from home. That was a warning sign. Even yeah? Porto was. Be humble. Porto. All the way to penalties. Be humble. Nah, these men are thinking about, yeah, we'll do this and we'll do that. You, man, since 1998, have run off to get the thing and you ain't been back since, blood. You ain't been back since, yeah? You, man, listen, you, man, need to check yourselves before you wreck yourselves. And it's not the players, you know. It's the fan base, bro. From what yep. I see on the weekend, you, man, walking out, leaving these, man, yeah? 
when you're when you're fully still in a title race. One one shit game, Liverpool and, and City, and you're right back up the top. You man are walking out and abandoning these man. Yeah, you man are a bunch of disgraces, bro. Your support, yeah, and how you not handle things is awful. Awful. Oh my days, bro. And you know what's even funnier for me? I'm sorry, Tubes. Yeah. I watched your live stream because I knew this was going to happen. I said this last week. I said, Arsenal are not going through. And the funniest thing is, is that you saw the goal coming. You saw it coming. And so did I. I was in my office. It was up on a big screen. If I if, if if my boss catches this, I'm probably gonna catch a disciplinary, but it, it was worth it anyway. I had you on a big screen, bruv, and you said three times, stop the cross, stop the cross, stop the cross. And they didn't stop the cross, fam. They didn't stop the cross, fam. And of all people to score a diving header or a header, Josh Martin. Hey, you got a soundboard? Come and get on the soundboard. Bull it. <laughs> oh my days! Oh my days! No, I'm, I'm not. Listen, at the end of, listen, at the end of the day, right? Troops called it in the last show we done. He said, "Whoever scores first wins." This is what he said. But you know what? The, 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 I feel sorry for troops though because troops here yeah, has tried to be. Very fair in his assessment of of, of 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 both teams and the situation, but the certain man, yeah, certain content creators, yeah, that because troops, yeah, is troops and he's been there from day, he has to hold the cord for you, man. You man need to apologize to him still. Not for real, like you man, you man are taking the piss. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie to you. I saw what happened yesterday. Now, as soon as the final whistle went, troops has got five thousand people in his team. Where are you, man? Where are you, man? Yeah, you, man. Listen, all I'm telling you, yeah, is that I don't... You see, I'm going to tell you this now. Arsenal will get no respect from me until you, man, change. Simple as that. You, man, need to change. Yeah? You, man, need to change. Because all you, man, are doing, yeah, is... I don't even know what you, man, are doing. But next season, they will tell you, again, Rice is the best DM in the world. They will tell you, yeah, Odegaard is clear of Kevin De Bruyne. They will tell you, Mikhail Saka is the best left winger, yeah, or right winger, yeah. He, he's the he, he's world class. They will tell you the same shit next season. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it no more. You might have to put up or shut up now, because it's been going on for too long. Too many players have come in and out of this club for you lot to not realize that we need, yeah, to step it up a piece. We're going to just be humble and step it up a piece. Man, they thought they could rock up into the Allianz Arena, you know. Do you not see Muller? Muller's not taking man serious. Havertz, I am coming for you, my friend. Yeah? <laughs> you get me? You get me? I am coming for you. Yeah? That's what man was telling, man. This man was, when he said it, man was like, and it's Arsenal. Man was, man was like, it's a joke. It's <laughs> like, a joke. Like, like you have to remember, <laughs> these man did. These men are part of the 10 too, you know. These men are not respecting the team. But you man thought you could go there and just rub them out. Bearing in mind, you just held corn to Villa as well. You just held corn with it. You just you just got beat off Villa. And now that's the that's the last place that you lot needed to go after that. That's the last place. But, but you know what? These men were not humble at all. They didn't even think, well, we just lost the game. You get me? Confidence might be a bit low. We need. You know what I mean? Man, they were sure. Man, they were, man, they were thinking, no, nah, we're going there, we're beating them. Duh, 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 duh. Boy. Arsenal fans are respected, you know. You got on your sword, but this time, yeah, this time you lot embarrassed yourselves. As a fan base, not the club, not the club. Oh, no, don't get me wrong. That 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 post, that post about the quarterfinals, that's a joke. I'm not going to lie. That's an absolute joke. But yeah, you, the, the, the football team, they're a young team. They're in progress. They're still in a title race. 
But you lot as a fan base, you lot have embarrassed yourself this season, man. Embarrassed yourselves. Well, they got Chelsea on Tuesday. I know we ain't great, but we've shown up against the big teams. We might take at least two points off you. If you're not careful. But anyway, you've been mighty quiet, troops. I respect it. You let us talk our shit. But I really do want to know your thoughts, bruv. I want to know how you feel. Disappointed. I feel like a disappointed father looking at his children. I've never looked at my kids like that, so this is how this is how it must feel. <clears throat> Understand? The disappointment stings more. You get me? Because that first half was exactly what I wanted away from home in Europe. That is the kind of performance you do. That is how you play. The intensity, the desire, there was ideas. We had chances. You could say we had the best chance with Martinelli. You understand? Yeah. But within, what, a minute and 15 seconds of the second half, Goretzka's licking off the crossbar. They already warned us. You understand? Running off his man. Rice again. Rice was piss poor as well. Long well, grade. Obviously, the clip that I put out on my social was the Saka clip. But it's a clip to make you go to watch the whole video, blood. You get me? And in the whole video, I said Rice had a tough night, blood. Goretzka ran that midfield, bro. In the first leg, I kind of let off Rice because I thought, cool, you're on a yellow card. Maybe you don't want to get suspended, but I don't think you should be playing like that, blood. Wherever you can get a yellow card, you play at an intense level, blood. You get me? Goretzka was boss in the midfield. Kimmich, Musiala, Sane. These men were causing problems, blood. You understand? Look at the goal. Three opportunities the cross. No one goes with Kimmich. He just runs in by himself, blood. Free header, boom. What do we do after that? We bring on Nketiah. Oh, my days. <laughs> Why is he getting the flame again? Do That's his decision. Money, his decision is to bring on Nketiah. But let me, not just, not just that fraud, yeah? Gabriel Jesus, what did he do? What did he do? I forgot Trossard even came on. Facts. I forgot Trossard even came on. What did he do? What did the substitutions do? They were missing. When I'm saying, yo, we need a striker. Oh, everyone's scoring 6-0, 5-0. Bro, when it's crunch time, you need a clinical striker. We ain't got that. We ain't got that, blood. Gabriel was shaky the whole game. Saliba was shaky. These men panicked. When they stepped on that pitch, they saw them flares in that, behind the goal and they shit themselves. I said, I've been Germany. I've been Munich. I know how their fans go, blood. I know how their atmosphere is. I know how hostile that ground is, blood. And I said, these men had no fans at the Emirates, blood. They have got something planned. Bro, I couldn't see half my players for the first 15 minutes. Because there was so much smoke. There was so much flares. Them man there, Jorginho, at, when they're doing the, the champions, Jorginho's looking around like this. <laughs> Experienced player, you know. Shit in the bed. Before He's he won it as well. Let me tell you something, blood. Yeah, we've improved, yeah. Yeah, I'm proud of, of, of the team. But I'm disappointed. The way we went out on a whimper, blood. No fight. And especially after that Aston Villa performance, everything was on this, blood. We ain't winning the league. Traps is saying we still got a title to fight for. What title, blood? We got second to fight for. 
Nah, he's still in there, man. Man City getting knocked out of the Champions League was the worst thing that could happen to Arsenal. Because now Pep is going for that four and four in a row. He's going for the four, Pete, now. Now, now that is the target. That and the FA Cup. He's cleaning up. Facts. Remember, mm-hmm. I said this. And trust yeah, you need to cut the what's run. The date today, the 18th of April. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Clep, clep. Look, because I'm saying Pep and fucking Klopp blood are the same. No, did he? <laughs> Pep is cleaning up. FA Cup and Premier League is going to fucking Manchester blood. Manchester City, not United. You understand? <sighs> Yeah, I don't know about that. I got story. Eric Dyer running his mouth, blood. Looking like the you know, you, you know, you know that film that Eddie Murphy's in. And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> That's what he's What's looking that? like, blood. Do you think like they're asking his dickhead questions? And he's there looking like a fucking idiot out the door, blood. About <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was nice to knock them out. <laughs> you fat-headed prick, blood. Shut the fuck up, blood. Yeah. Can you soon get kick out of that blood? You know I win no fucking Champions League blood. Trust me, blood. Yeah, you ain't winning that blood. And your best friend who can't spell his own fucking name, blood. Yeah. He was, but I ain't gonna lie to you. He was, he was easily one of the best players on the pitch in both legs. Lock I can't lie. Up. I can't lie. I hate this guy as much as you do. Remember, he Spurs, but he was one of the best players for Bayern Munich over both legs. 100 percent but here's my thing here's my thing though yeah no fans in the first leg no kingsley coman no serge nabry and no alfonso davis in the second leg how how <laughs> the thing, bro, like, if you're asking for a golden opportunity to get revenge on Bayern, as Egal so eloquently put it, how? That was it there. You see Bayern's defence, especially, you see when this, when that you, Kim Min Jae came on, mm. he was looking shaky, bruv. Committing fouls left, right, centre. Just looking mad shaky, bruv. And then you had the opportunity. This is what we need to address. This is what we need to address. What was Saka doing for that corner? What, the last one? Brother, what was he doing on that corner? What, the last one you're talking about? Yes. Yeah, that was a, that was a, that was a disgrace. Man. Your one chance, and this is the thing, is Arsenal this season have been almost immaculate on set pieces. Bread and butter for them. Corner comes in, Gabriel heads it in. Corner comes in, Sabriel gets it. Um, Sabriel, Saliba gets it in. Man couldn't beat the first man. And now, I'm going to make it even worse for Bukayo because we need to have this conversation. When you look back on the incident where he decided to die for the penalty and not round Noya and score... How much worse does it make it look now? Because we could have been having a different conversation right here if he stayed on his feet and just scored. Crazy. It's them and and the Champions League, you see that competition? It's fine margins like this. Like this that decide things. It's luck... And it's a fine margin just like this. If I was an Arsenal fan, really and truly, I'd be fuming at Saka. If I was Arteta after that game, I'd get Saka by himself in the office and I'd say, you see what you did here in the first leg? And you see what's happened over here? They only beat us 1-0. We could have gone into extra time if you had scored that goal. And if you would force them to penalties, then who would not? Who knows? He needs to look at himself for that. And he needs to be criticised for that. But then could it be lack of experience? Lack of know-how in a tournament like that, especially in the quarterfinals against Bayern. Maybe he thought... Yeah, it's mad. 
it's mad. It's, mentality. it's crazy mentality because mentality. yeah, because because teams like this, when you're playing teams like this, yeah, sometimes you only get one, maybe two clear cut chances in a game. And that's not even an exaggeration. With 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 games like this, sometimes the chances come very few and far in between. And that's when you know if the player is worth the hype, like, especially when it comes to a striker. Because certain strikers, you see them going quiet 89 minutes. And that one chance in that in that in, in that 89 or 90th minute before the whistle blows, when that comes, goal. That's part of it. That's called concentration. Saka had Saka had to do that in the last in, in the first leg. So you guys go look at that truth, bro. Honestly, he's got a lot to learn, fam. Lack of experience. These man need to stop doing this. This going. I, listen, I'm. T- listen, I don't know about anyone else here, but me personally, bro, I'm not telling. You see all that going down shit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, sometimes you go down, you get a pen. Sometimes you don't. But you got to look at the situation, man. If you're, if it was a Saturday afternoon, and you're one nil up against the Wolves. Yeah, go down in the box. See what you can get. See if you can get a penalty. But in the last, in the dying minutes of a Champions League game where you can potentially win it for your team, you have to take that risk. You have to. You have to take that risk. Yeah, at the end of the day, you have to take that risk because you either you end up a hero or you go down, you might get the penalty, you might not. If you don't get the penalty, this is what happens. People are going to be doing mad post-mortems talking about woulda, shoulda, coulda. By the end of the day, if you take your chance, then at the end of the day, you've gone out on your sword. So that, and that's a mentality thing because there's a man, certain man will miss five chances and still keep going. You know what I mean? So certain man will, certain man will miss a chance and not want to shoot no more. But look, I just think that <clears throat> Arsenal fans... Yeah, not even Arsenal fans. The team must that that team there has a. They need troops that they need a striker. I think they do need a striker. I think it's. I think this is this. I don't mid, think this, and a centre midfielder and yeah. a right and another right winger. I feel like you need. We don't need no midfielder. left back. I'm seeing rumors about left backs. I'm saying, brother, we got Timber, we got Tomiyasu. That politician's still there. Hopefully, we sell him. But there's two left backs there, blood. We don't need a left back, blood. We need cover for Saka because Saka, one thing I'll say is that he's tired. He plays every yeah. game for England. He plays every game for Arsenal. He don't get substituted. It's only in the last couple of weeks where he's been getting substituted because he's literally half dead on the pitch, blood. So... Yeah. I think... I think with the Arsenal team here, they need someone... They need... I mean, not Jorginho experience. They need someone... They need. Do you know what? Yeah, I'll be honest with you. You know who you man needed? Did you know who you man actually needed? Granite Jacob. Bro. That's who you needed, mate. That's who you man. You need. You need someone who is a leader because that team is a good team. But in moments like this, Odegaard's your captain. He's not really like a captain. He's just. I don't know why. Well, I don't. Well, I don't. I don't know. But he's not Older someone who's going to get the team. In, Odegaard's, huh? Odegaard's probably the only one. That, that, that I won't criticise. Yeah, but in terms of playing, Odegaard's a good player. But in terms of captaincy, like Jordan Henderson, he's a shit football player, but he's a great captain. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, you need you need that guy that's going to be like, you, man, get it together. You know what I mean? You, you know what I mean? Stop doing this. Stop doing that. Come on, let's let's work together. Let's, let's do that. You know what I mean? Someone who's going to galvanise the team. You know what I mean? You need, you need them strong characters in there. I just don't think Arsenal have the strong characters. In these moments, it's like when it gets to these pressure moments, it's just like, oh, let's just let's just all have a group hug in the changing room. That's what I feel like it's like. It's not like, what are you man doing? Let's go. You know what I mean, we're better than this. You know what I mean? We're not getting that. It's like, oh, if we look like, you know what I mean? Never mind, we'll go next year. Like, we're, 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 we're brothers, right? All of that shit. You need someone to be like, no, this is going down tonight. Yeah. Man, them, listen, we're going to move to them. You know what I mean? You need that. You need them strong characters. I just don't think Arsenal have that. And I mean, yeah. But nevertheless, it's a good team. You're still a good team at the end of the day. I don't know why you're giving up on the league anyway, because you're saying the city you're gonna do this and city you're gonna do that. I told you, man, Roma Dribble gonna beat City. 
Yeah. I, I know, I, I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, they beat them. I said Real Madrid are going to beat City. I said oh, that. I, I said City were going to go through. That was me. Yeah. I said Real Madrid. I, that's what I said. That's what I'm saying. But I, I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, they, 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 they beat the penalties is a lottery, and it's so anyone could have won. So, but the point is, they got it over the line. But my thing is this: that City, City now have got to play after that defeat. They've now got to go and play Chelsea at Wembley on Saturday, which is what three days away. That game there, what's that been? Two draws this season. They ain't beat us this season. Yeah, it's been two draws this season. It's going to be a tough game for them. They could lose that game. That's the truth. They could lose that game. Before and we go, let me stop you one sec. Before we go into City, let me just fly through these flipping super chats. That's the perfect segue, blood. Big up Randy Viper. He says, troops, my G, it's time we got real. We got Stardust at the Alliance and the Starboy at WrestleMania. I'm sick of the excuses for Bakayo all the time. <sighs> Arsenal fans are starting to have hey. For me, Bakayo's still the guy in it. We just he needs to get me. He needs to go back to the training ground and just work on a couple of things and come back stronger for next season, blood. Because he keeps it keeps happening. This is like the first season when we've got to like the running and his form's just gone suck. You get me? So this is a thing that has been happening. It's not the first time, blood, that his form dips when we get into crunch time of the season. You get me? A bit like Salah, but there's no one here to carry him, blood. Whereas when Salah would dip, you had Mane, Firmino. They would give me put 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 in put in the work. If Saka don't put in the work, it's it's done, blood. You get me? We got Todd Miller. I'm not singing that blood. You get me? <laughs> I'm not singing that blood. You get me? We got Todd Miller again, blood. He said Arsenal. At least you have the Florida Cup oh, preseason. Great. We got Gabriel. He says, "Big up you guys." Saka needs to be dropped. He has way too much bad performances lately. We need a right winger, centre mid and two centre forwards. Sell Jesus, Zinni and 14 shit players. I'd keep Jesus, but I'd sell Zinni and 14 still. I'm not going to lie. We got Johnny Boy. He says, I said it then and I'm saying it now. Saka can't take my boy Perez's shirt. Prove me wrong. You won't. Kyle. It's up to you to prove him wrong, blood. We got C Flair. He says, Champions of Europe. Yeah, blood. I'm not singing the rest of that, blood. <laughs> Mr. 16 out of 10 himself. Here he is running his mouth, blood. You get me? Bro, don't get too down about last night. Champions League ain't for everyone. And that's fine. It's hard. It's a hard competition. It's only for the elite. Andy Q, my G. He says, cooking troops, you banter FC. You are a small club like Goonie and the other guy. Barca has more pedigree. Better not cook me, even though it's biggest fist up. No, did he? Yeah, you man got smack up, blood. Exactly. You got a gun out and you had to sell half of your flipping football ground. That's why you can't even play there. You've got no grass left at the Camp Nou. Yeah. yeah. The man said grass in it. The man said grass in key rings in it. I like <laughs> Trust me. You get me. One well, to you, man. We got Andy one more time. He says, Barca police responded to Camp New. I got murdered. You did, blood. We got Jason. He says, certificate for petition uh, for participating. Blood. Man, is taking the piss, bro, at this point. <laughs> we got KSA. He says, Arsenal team will never win a Champions League. No DNA. We got C Flair. He says, Victor Moses has more silverware than Saka, by the way. Kurt Chaos, my brother, says, I'm gutted, no backbone last night, season done, least I'm not delusional like some fans. I echo those thoughts, my brother. Ben Highsmith, my G, big up troops and Goonie, glad to see Goonie back regularly. Goonie the man. Big up TC, he says, we see things you'll never see, Trooper. Pride of London is, yeah, whatever. Mr. 16 out of 10, here he is, blood. He says, hold that troopy in the words of the GOAT, Sophie. How's it going, bottle job? Gabriel and Saliba take notes from Eric Dyer. Arsenal wow. fans deserve this. Well, that's the closest you ever get to Sophie, blood, so hold that, blood, isn't it? <laughs> we got Todd Miller. One more time. He says, Eric Dyer. Eric fucking Dyer. We got Kenny Fan TV, my G. He says, big up troops, RIP, Rantman, Bayern showed Champions League experience. 
RIP to Angry Ratman Blab. We did lose a legend of the game yesterday. Um, may his soul rest in peace and we send our love to his family at this sad time, blood. But yeah, Traps, you was talking about City. They went out yesterday. I think that's going to be... Uh, 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 yeah, I think they're going to use that as fuel to. Yeah, but this is what I'm trying to say. Everyone's got everyone's everyone got this, the rest of the season. Yeah, everyone's got this, this, this thing about Man City. Yeah, Man City are just going to get mad. Man City are just going to do this. Man City are just going to do that. Man City played a good game yesterday and they lost. They, do you know what I mean? So all this, all this talk of Man City being this unstoppable force. They haven't had a great season, yeah. In terms of their and standards. where are they? Where in are terms they? of their, no, in terms of, but that's what I'm saying. But that's down to the league. You know I'm saying that's down to the league. That's not down to them. That's down to the league. The league has been shit this season. That's down to them. That's not that's, that's down to the league. That's not down to them. But yeah, Man City haven't had a great season. They've lost a few games. Um, obviously they're out of the Champions League now. For me, if I'm looking at the running. They do have the easier running than everyone because everyone seems to have missed this. Like, because people are looking at runnings. Liverpool and Arsenal are looking at runnings. City have the easier running. However, I don't think for one second that Spurs are going to lose to Liverpool, Arsenal, and Man City. Man City struggled there as well. Yeah, they don't have a good record. So I don't think this is over. I what and what I what I think what Arsenal fans need to do, yeah. You not just need to understand, yeah. Because you don't keep talking about trust the process or whatever, phase 28 of volume three of whatever, yeah? You, man, need to forget all this walking out stuff, yeah? Forget all this conceding the title, yeah, when there's, when there's, when there's two points in it. You, man, need to just get behind your team, yeah? Get to the stadium, get behind your team for the next six games. And even if you don't win it, and the final game... Wherever it's at and you don't win it, stay to the end. Clap these men. You know what? This season, even though, yeah, it's all good to ban at Arsenal fans and tell them how shit, how, how they're, how they're, they're, they're bottle jobs or whatnot. But these men, in reality, have done you man proud. Because it's not the end. All right, cool. This season hasn't gone your way. But the team has shown that it can sustain in the top two, top three over, over season after season. So it's, it's a team that's that's on the rise. Add a couple more players and go again. But you man should show your support because two years ago, three years ago, you man was screaming left, right and centre. You wanted these, this one out. You wanted that one out. You wanted the ownership out. You wanted this and that. In the space of a couple of years, I still want the owners out. I know, I'm, I'm still funky out. Minutes. Let me just get that in. But, yeah. So it's, it's, got, it's got... The point is, whether you want the out or whatever, this team has basically restored the pride that you man had because I know certain man that there's certain man that I used to that I talk that I talk to who I don't talk to no more. I've lost friends because I lost friends over Arsenal Football Club and the way they was playing at the time. They don't want to chat to me no more because of the trolling and whatnot. Yeah, but they have restored your pride. So you man need to get behind them. And yeah, you might need a bit of luck here. Yeah? You might need a bit of luck. You might need you might I'm not gonna lie you might need a flipping a, 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 a red card in a game or, or a dubious red card or a, or a dubious handball to get... A, but get behind them, bro. It's six games. Clap them at the end and say, you know what? Well done, boys. Done. And go again next season, man. Because it's all really good just cooking them, cooking them and saying this, that and the other. But it, You know what I mean? I'm, that's I'm, why I don't seven. want... That's why I'm not saying Arteta out. Yeah. Because, you get me? I was like, you know what I mean? One of the main Arteta outs, blood. You understand? And if I'm not here saying, yo... I want the manager out, da, 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 da. then you have to look into the, you have to look at the bigger picture, blood. You get me? And I see that we're on the right track. I see that there's a togetherness in the fan base. I see that there's not a toxicity no more in the fan base. You get me? When I go to the ground, <clears throat> the atmosphere is good. Like people are smiling. People want to watch Arsenal. People want to go to games. So that's why I'm, I'm saying, you get me? We need reinforcements blood you get me is what we need to go on to the next level to win the, the champions league to win the premier league because that's what it's going to take blood we this team ain't this team ain't enough this team is, is not enough this team has reached its peak this team can't go any further 
That's the God's honest truth. This team has reached its peak blood. It can. It's a second place team. You understand? This team. This team reminds me of Arsenal from ninety nine to two thousand and one, where second, 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 lost UEFA Cup final, lost FA Cup final, lost semi final FA Cup. This is. This reminds me of that same team blood, where if you add in. Just, uh, I mean, we needed a world class defender. What did we do? We went out and got Sol Campbell. Nigel Winterburn was, I mean, he he was he left the club. He was at West Ham, about to retire. Silvino was, you get me, good going forward, but defensively questionable. Who who started to roll true? Ashley Cole. You understand? You feel you feel me? Like, and then we boom. What happened? We went and won the double blood. So if we go out and get a proper midfielder. You get me to put alongside Rice and Odegaard, get a proper striker and get a right winger to cover Saka so he doesn't have to play every game. We can say, you know what? We, we don't have to play Saka today. We can play wh whoever it is, whoever the player we bring in. But it's got to be a, a player of quality, blood. So there's not a, a, a dramatic drop. With City, when someone comes at the team, there's a drop, but it's not a drop. You understand? Yeah. They're, they're there or thereabouts. You understand? So that's why I'm not Arteta out right now. What well, if you lost I mean, again? What well, if you lost at home against us? Nah, for me, he 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 needs to be here next season. It's if next season we don't win nothing, then there's going to be uncomfortable conversations. If, if I do, need, I, I do on. feel like you don't need to be careful though um, with the Odegaard situation because Odegaard here yeah, is. He's a good player. He's a very good There's player. no buyback clause from Madrid, though. So if Man no, 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 but you're going to have to pull up with 150 million, Rude Boy. There's you're not a buyback clause. There's not, there's not a buyback And no one, one respectfully is going to pay 150 million for Martin Odegaard. Is that his release clause? He don't have a release clause. They, this is what I'm trying to say. This Look. is England. England don't do that. That's that, that's foreign. England, yeah. Jimmy, players don't really have Same, that. Yeah. It's, it's only Harland. Yeah, only Harlan, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think he had but, it or it's, yeah, I mean, or, or it's gone. I, think, or I don't know. I think you have to be careful with that because if you don't win nothing next season, if Real Madrid come knocking, man, you know what Real Madrid are like. And that's what I've said as well. If we don't win next season, the likes of Saka, the likes of Martinelli, the likes of Saliba, the likes of Odegaard, Rice, because we got him, he'll probably be all right. You get me? But the rest of them, man, there will start looking like, yo, every time they go to England camp or the French camp or the Brazil camp, this one's winning Premier League, this one's winning Champions League, this one's winning La Liga. Things are what I mean. You're just there. Yeah, we finished second again. Yeah, we got to the quarterfinal. Yeah, we, we bottled the FA Cup. Yeah, we didn't even take the Carabao Cup seriously. Like, they're going to start looking around because we've seen that in previous Arsenal sides. The likes of Fabregas, Van Pagan, Cashley Cole, you get me, Haleb, all these man, blood. Adibayor, Clichy, they all jump shit. Nasri, you get me? They, they, Vom, nah, Vamalan didn't jump shit. Vamalan, we, he, he, his injuries, blood, is what hampered him at Arsenal, innit? Vamalan, and he stayed a long period at Arsenal. He stayed at Arsenal until we won the FA Cup of 2014. And then he left, blood. So he left like a real G, blood. Same as Sagna. Sagna could have left on many opportunities, but he stayed like a real G. And then when he went to City, we were like, all right, cool, because you want us our trophy. Now, you get me? We respect you, blood. Rest of these pussy just the straight jump shit, blood. Nasri, all their man, they jump shit, bro. You get me? And I don't want to see that with these players, blood. You get me? Because people like Saliba, people like Odegaard, people like Saka, people will be lurking. People will be lurking yeah. for them, bro. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. You see, um, I'd be careful. Oh, what you have to remember is Cruz and Modric, yeah, are aging, yeah. Modric more so. Modric's like 38 now. So, yeah, but they got Valverde, Camavinga, Chua, many yeah, but, Jude's there yeah, now. Yeah, but even so, Bro, even, come on. even so, Cruz they, they got a lot. Modric still need to be replaced. And Odegaard, for me, yeah, is the perfect solution for them, for to replace it like a Cruz and nothing. That's, that's a perfect solution because he's, he's obviously, he's young at the club. He was young at the club, didn't really get the playing time because he was young and obviously he knew these men were thingy, but you, you, you know what this you know what this Perez guy is like, man. You know what he's like. He might just said to him, "Look, listen, go, 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 thingy." When these men are gone, man, will, man will chat to you then, innit? You know what I mean? So I'd be careful. I'd, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be back to Madrid. I would, I would be careful of that. 
I, that's, I don't know about all the rest of them, the Salibas or no one else. I don't know about them. But Odegaard back to Real Madrid, if you don't win up for next season, I'd be very... And if you lose Odegaard, then it becomes a problem. It becomes a problem. You can't lose him. You can't lose Saliba. You can't lose them too. Cannot. Saliba, that guy, I still, I still think... He's a he's a top top level centre back. That kid, bro, he is quality. He's yeah. just Gabriel's been so good this year. Saliba hasn't been at the level he was last year, but he's still been levels, bro. Do you understand? Mm. He's probably gonna be the best defender in the next three four years, bro, in the world because he's got everything in his game. I don't know he about second. He, he can defend one on one. He's good in the air. He's quick. He's strong. He's good on the ball. Bro, he don't really have a fault, blood. His composure's his, mad. Composure is through the roof. It's just a little bit more experience. I don't know about Then Saka he will get to that level. What do you mean, what do you mean Saka? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Saka will ever leave Arsenal. I don't know what it is. I just don't think he will. I just can't see it. Bro, I couldn't see Ashley Cole leaving and going Chelsea. But things happen, bro. I couldn't see Van Persie going United. Even though he was a foreign player... I could not see that. I could not see that. Let me tell you something. I couldn't see. I couldn't see Ox going Liverpool. Couldn't see it. True. Couldn't see it's it, bro. True. Let me tell you something. When, when, and you have to remember what turned Ox's head was when he was at England and he had the Liverpool players around him. Like, yo, come on, man. Look, these man have done out here, man. Come on, man. You should be doing like, come on, man. Yeah. They're gonna think about themselves. Even his parents, his, his bro if he's got brothers and sisters, they'll be like, bro, broski, yo, how's my man won Champions League and you ain't blood? Come on, bro. You should have had these accolades already, but look how long you've been there carrying these, man. You you, you was here when they were done out here, eighth and all them thing there. And they still don't want to add on that, that that little extra that you need for help. Nah, can't we cut, bro? He's going to cut, blood. What do you mean? Yeah, no, I cut, hear it. Bro. I hear it. I do hear it. I do hear it's it. It's different to back in the day when there yeah, was that yeah, yeah. die hard loyalty. Our generation had that. That, that our generation was the last generation that had that that die hard loyalty blood. I don't know. I, feel, I just feel like Saka's a good youth though. Like he's one of them. He, he, like you know, he, I just feel like you just like he might. He might. Well, I feel like if Saka's gonna leave, he's not gonna leave when he's like how old is he now? Twenty two. Yeah. He's young. Yeah, he's not gonna leave when he's like 23, 24. Saka will probably leave there when he's like 28, 29. If he ain't won nothing. But if he ain't won nothing by his 25, 26, he's gonna he's gonna he's go, yeah. He's gonna go, bro. I don't think he will though, man. I, I feel I feel like he'll just do the hurricane thing, man, end up end up somewhere just for the sake of winning a trophy or just you know what I mean just for trying to win a trophy, you know what I mean? I don't I don't think Saka I, one, I don't think Saka leaves when he's 24, 25, 26. I reckon it's like 27, 28, 29. Second of all, yeah, I don't think that Arsenal go till Saka's 28. 29 without winning a trophy either. If they continue on this path that they're on. Okay, so if we win like a F, what do you think FA Cup's enough to keep Saka? No, 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 no. Nah. If that, if if that is, I would question the kid's ambition. I'm not gonna lie. No, nah. see, I, I think Arsenal. Look, Arsenal have. I I genuinely believe now, yeah. In the next two years, Arteta has to win something, a major honor, right? Major, and when I say major honor, it has to be a Champions League, or a league, or both, or something along them lines. Yeah, it's got to be one of the two, one hundred percent non-negotiable. I was even saying at the end of last season, after the ninety-three percent. That if Arteta doesn't win anything this season, I'd 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 be throwing this position under question. But obviously, I'm not an Arsenal fan. Troops knows better. You get me when it comes to that. But me personally, I'd be disappointed. No, I don't. I, what you listen. What you have to remember here is, is the conflict of interest. Yeah, Arsenal board. They want bums on seats. They want people buying stuff. They want people going to games. They want engagement. Yeah. So Arteta's done that. Arteta has his own aspirations. I'm not. I don't think Arteta is one of their managers where he just wants to. Just he just wants to plod along in, in in top four. He actually wants to win something. He come from a team. He's come under 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 Pep Guardiola. He wants to win. Yeah, that's let's not let's not let's not dispute that. No, there's not many managers that want to manage teams that want that want to be mid table that want to 
go on the mid table and go a cup run. And I don't think that's what Arteta wants to do. This is why Arteta was sacrificed cups and this, that, and the other because he, you know, what he wants. So I don't think, I think right now Arteta for the for the board, lovely Champions League football back to back, lovely, yeah. But for him, I don't think he gets sacked. I don't think any of this warrants the sack. And I don't think even if he, even if it happens the next season. The same stuff happens next season. I don't think that works the sack either. I don't think it does. At what, well, at, at, at what point, though, should he be sacked, if that's the case? I think next year, if you don't win something, there needs to be uncomfortable conversations because that'll be five years with no trophy. We're Arsenal Football Club. That is ridiculous. That'll be our longest trophy spell since, like, since 2014, since we won the I FA Cup. And the reason why Wenger had that money in the bank with the nine-year spell was because he never had funds. He was selling his best players. There was a lot of things going on behind the scenes. With Arteta, there's nothing going on behind the scenes, bro. You've been given money. You, you, If you want a player, they're going to get you the player. So what, blood? You need to deliver now, innit? It's time I to think, deliver. I think Arteta gets two seasons. I think he gets two seasons. Like I, I said, there need to be uncomfortable conversations if you don't win something next year. Say next year we get into the Champions League final, we lose. We get to the FA Cup final, lose. We get to the last day of the, of, of, of the, of the Premier League title running and then we lose. Then, you get me, you can't really be there and say, nah, it's, 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 it's difficult, isn't it? You understand? Yeah. If, if, if it was a thing where we went out in the, in, in, the group, in, in the round of 16 in the Champions League, we was out of the title race from like fucking April... We never yeah. competed into the last stage of the FA Cup. Then you got to be like, nah, you need to bounce, bro, innit? So yeah, I, think saying, there's, I think there's um, stipulations and things that, that, that can sway opinions. I th- do you know what I do feel, though? I do feel that Arteta now has to take these other competitions seriously, though, because it can keep him afloat. Do you know what I mean? If he finishes second and wins an FA Cup, that, I think that gives him another season, to be honest. But I would say within the next two years, two to three years, Arteta needs to be showing that we're getting closer. I know it's doesn't say needs to be shown we're here now, but we're getting closer. Last season, inexperience, whatever you don't want to call it. I I don't think you lot should have should have. I don't think you lot should have not won the title last season. I feel like you should have won. I feel like you know was more, to, so focused on City. And that, and that, I feel that's, I think, I think this is, uh, this is where the learning curve for me this season as well, because last season, you lot was too focused on City. City's the game, City's the game, City's the game. Then you drew with Southampton before you even met City. So people were just focused on City too much. This game for me, if you do lose the league this season, it's because you went and played that, that style of football at the Etihad. That's what, that's what cost you. Because at the end of the day, Arteta should be Arteta two years two two years into into like you man being at the top of the league competing you know it's two years in he should be able to go there and play his style of football and if you lose you're not embarrassing yourselves you might lose two one you might lose one you might win one nil but I just think that's when that's 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 the little things that need to change for Arteta to, for Arteta to win the league he needs to be able to go anywhere and anywhere with a game plan that's not just part the bus because that's not what you do. Play your football. You might have to play it a bit more reserved in certain situations, like at Etihad, but you still play your, your your style of football and try and get results. So I don't know, but I don't think I, I don't think he's as, I don't think he's far as far as far away as possible. I don't think he's I don't I don't think he's as far away as you think. I think that based on what's going on, Klopp's leaving next season. So Liverpool, then Liverpool are not bouncing back for for a good couple of years because any manager that leaves that's got that's been doing stuff. It, it, it's hard for the next manager to pick up the slack. You know what I mean? After that mm-hmm. happens. So, Liverpool, Man United are in the abyss right now. Don't know if they, they could turn up next season. They they might not. We don't know. Uh, Chelsea, they're looking... They've had a good couple of games. But, they've had one good game because they got beat off of Sheffield United the other day. So, you don't know with them either. Yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. Don't Spurs, in the big games, they... St- in, in the big games, they perform... Yeah, yeah, but like it's, it's, it's no consistency there anyway. So but I'm not worried about you... Chelsea. I'm sorry, Gooney. I'm not gonna lie. I'm more worried about I'm more worried about Wolves than you, blood. I just, I don't blame you. Uh, you know what I think about my squad? This shit, fam. 
You yeah. already know this. So if you look at it now, realistically, next season, starting next season, you're looking at the likes of if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna get behind anybody, you're looking at Pep Guardiola, Mikel Arteta. Possibly no, not even all oh, for top four, you probably don't know. That's it. Una Emery's the next one. He's the, he's the next guy that will win trophies. So Arteta's competition next season, that's another thing as well. He needs to be able to take advantage of that, to be honest, because I don't I, I don't think United Chelsea, United Chelsea, Liverpool, you don't know with them three. And that's so is there, and obviously the most experienced managers are obviously Pep. Arteta to a certain de- a certain degree, because he's had the squad, he's built his own squad. And obviously Una Emery. So I think the opportunities are there for Arsenal, to be honest. And I feel like it needs to but winning the league. I feel like Arteta could get away with finishing second and win the trophies for FA Cup or something next season. I think he can get away with that. Nah, he's got to get it over the line, bro. I think he does. Nah, I agree I with Traps. If he said second and the, and the FA Cup and we push it to the last game of the season, he can get away with that easily. 100%. If he can get away with losing the Champions League final, losing the league on the last day of the season, FA Cup semi-final, final, he can get away with winning the FA Cup and finishing second. I'd still, even with all that stuff, I'd still want him sacked. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I need. I'd... I think if it, I think if it was a more experienced manager, then maybe. But because he's still learning on the job, I think that's what kind of gives him a little leeway. And the reason, and the reason why I say I'd want him sacked is because you're now not taking into equation that there's teams around that are going to improve. It's not every season where it's going to be the same dynamic every season. There will be teams that will improve. There will be that team that might come up and start. You know what I'm saying? It could even be Liverpool. You never know. You never know. It could be that's a case. Of... That's what I'm saying. You don't really know with these like. You know what I'm saying, but we have to go off what you know. You know that Arsenal are going to be there next season. You know that things are going to be. There. You know what Unai Emery can do. Other than that, who else? And the thing is, Arsenal they sack Arteta, right? What you have to remember is, it's like unless you're going to go and get yourself an Ancelotti or a Zidane, or someone like that, it's not really worth it. Because if you're going to go get, say, for instance, people are calling for this new guy at the Sporting, Amarim, whatever his name is, yeah? He's just, he's just about as experienced as, as Arteta. So you don't know what you're going to get. You, unless, well, he's a shabby Alonso like, thing, the Thiago Motta thing. He's, Arteta's got more experience than them. That's what I'm saying. So unless Shabby Alonso might have won more than Arteta. Or Zidane, he's more experienced so than Amarim. Yeah, but he's more experienced than them. He's been around longer. That's true. So it's like better the devil you know than the devil you don't, kind of thing. That's what I'm saying. And unless you're, unless, unless if you're they said to me, Zidane, like right now, if man said to me, yo, troops, you can get Zidane for the start of next season or Angelotti, I'd, yeah, I'd what? I'll take a little more, bro. Little more, brother. In a oh, bit, yeah. bro. Yo, respect, yeah. Love for the FA Cup. Love for that, blood. Yo, bring Zizo over, yes, sir. Bring Don Carlo over, yes, sir. In a heartbeat, blood. If you're telling me, like, you get me, to get these other man, then uh, no, did he? That's not for me, blood. That's what I'm saying. It's pointless. It's pointless because what you what what what, what you have to remember is this. If you get a manager in, like a Amarim, or whatever his name is, or a Motta, but you can't be giving man a year to change it because if it don't change, you're going to... It's another four years. another time. four or five years. Man, like, yeah. not, these men are not going to ask you for time. These men are not going to ask you for time. They'll win within two years. Within two years, exactly. they'll They're win one of the one biggest... Tro- they'll win the league or the Champions League within two years. And that's a guarantee. Because that is because that is what an elite manager does. He says, within two years, I'll have it. Don't worry. If it's not done two years, get rid of me. But I'm telling you, this ain't no four, four, five-year project. This is a two-year project. And we're gonna it's going to bang. No, did he? You get me? But... No, um, I don't think... Like I said, Arteta's in a very comfortable position right now. I don't think he's getting... Sad. I wouldn't I say comfortable... Sad. Now he is, man. I want to say comfortable, blood. But what, what can well, what, what 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 do you think he can do? I don't think you can be that? comfortable in a big club. I think Arsenal have to completely capitulate. And the amount of money that the Cronkies have given him, they're gonna want something back, blood. Yeah, they got what Bob Dick told you. They got to sell out stadium, bums on seats, merch getting bought every day. Nah, but come on, blood. Cronkies the want real everything. Brand, bro. I told Cronkies, you about Cronkies the real want brand. everything. Cronkies won everything with his other teams. It's only Arsenal, blood. 
So exactly. it's the that's, last... even, even, that's even more reason why they don't care, bro. You know what these men are like. These men are Americans, they're into American sport. They're already business about this part. Of bro, them. they just spent 100 million on rice. Of course they fucking care, traps. Come on now, blood. No, if they, did, if they didn't care, if they didn't care, they would have gone and got some little fucking idiot for 20 million. Yeah, but it's like. investment, bro. Do you, not, do you not understand? Two years yeah, ago. Yeah, but they want something back from their investment. 30,000. Now, it weren't 30,000. It weren't 30,000, bro. bro. I was in the ground. It weren't 30,000, blood. How many? And that was that one game, the Man City game. That was it. It was 50. How, it, it, how, right, blood, it average, dropped to. Right, let me, let me fucking answer them, them blood. Huh? It dropped to. It dropped to fifty-two thousand. It never dropped to the four. There was one game when it was forty, and that was the Man City game after we lost the cup final three 0 And we played them on the Thursday, and we lost three 0 again. We was three 0 down after like fucking twenty-nine minutes or something, blood. That was the only game it dropped to forty. Every other game was fifty-two thousand. It stayed in the fifties. You get. All right. well, whatever, and when they like cared, and, and when they cared, was hospitality was looking empty. Not the fucking North Bank and the clock end. They don't give a shit if the North Bank and clock end full of blood. If hospitality seats got empty, that's when they're losing money. They don't make money off the normal fan. Yeah? Mm. They make money off the, the hospitality man them. The normal fan they ain't making no money off the North Bank man or the clock end man or the East and the West Stand man. It's the hospitality man that they're making their change off blood. Mm. When them man they start thing because them man their season tickets all seven bags for the year blood. That's mm. where you're making peas bro. You understand? Mm. You feel me? I hear it, but like I said, they have to do and something. Even the fans, the fans will want something back as well. You think the fans are going to keep going and not, not, nothing's winning? Come on, now, we're not Tottenham. The fans will turn. Yeah, but you might have, I'm saying, you might have already turned already, bouncing up like, out, like 80, 80 something minutes. And that's that. what I'm saying. So make that continue. The Cronkies will. You understand? That's what I'm saying. Arteta is not comfortable, blood. Mm. Why, lad? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get through these supers real quick, but I gotta do school running them thing there, blood. Big up, big up fatty. He says Eric Dyer made the same Champions League semi-finals as Arsenal. Jesus Christ. Big up Ed, my Chigi. He says, respect troops. You could have took a few days off, but you're here taking it on the chin. No diddy. Facts. We don't hide, fam. You see me? Big up A11. He says, Arsenal client of mine was that confident on winning the title. He bet me a free Bali ticket if Arsenal come second this season. Holiday season incoming. Blood claw. That is an expensive bet, dog. Kurt Chaos, my GG. He says, I'll pray, I'll pray to every god out there for a miracle, but without a bad boy striker, we're not winning this season. I said on the watch along, need Isaac and a backup right winger like Lorenzo from PSV. And that's what I said, blood. A striker, uh, centre midfielder, and a uh, right winger as well, blood. Big up Mark. He says, this was my next question. How long will it be before some of our star players leave? Uh, we did touch on that, my bro. No diddy. Big up Mr. Mr. Cates. Mr. Katz. He says, as long as Arteta brings in the Champions League participation trophy money, he's got the gig. I'm not sure... Because there's a lot of money being spent, so I'm sure, I'm sure they'll want something back, blood. Right, 27, my GG. Big up your damn blood, Clark Self, blood. Good to see you. He says, Goonie, Traps, and Troops, big up yourselves, and good panel as usual, Troops. It's the same shit every season. We've bottled the league and gone out of another trophy with a whimper. Home form has cost us this season. It has, blood. And last season, our home form is what got us into, you get me, a lot of the joy, the joyous moments. We got right one more damn blood clot time. He says, Troops, how many times have we spoken outside Emirates, my bro? And I've told you when the going gets tough, Arteta cracks. No, did he? And for me, he has to go end of the season. We need an elite manager, unfortunately. You see what I'm saying? Like, the tie, and, and this is a match going fan. You understand? Big up my brother. Yeah, Ryan, but who, though? Who? No, but that's what I'm saying. That, but no, but look what I'm saying. But look what I'm saying. People are starting to, you get me? I'm not there. Yeah, yet, no, I do hear it. Certain men are going to have enough of it. Would you take? Would you? Would you? Would you take two? Cool? Five years will be next year. Would you take two? Cool. He's about to be available. Nah, like I think that's just a quick. I think that's just like a oh yeah, a quick tournament thing. Like I think like I mean, we need like a stable manager. Any finesse is that twenty nineteen? No, twenty twenty. We got Sharavan. He says Arsenal may be poor right now, but they are one good manager away from winning the league. We are close, but you understand. I don't even think it's just a manager. I think that it is um, also a um, squad depth. Yeah, squad depth, blood for real. 
Big up the man, them. You understand? Appreciate you lot taking time out, blood. You get me? We'll be back again next week, same time, blood. You get me? Uh, we're going to run this up now, blood. You understand? Uh, we had over 1K inside, blood. We got your damn selves, no diddy. Um, 304 likes. Let's get the like. 332 likes. Let's get the likes up as well, ASAP. But yeah, big up the man, them every time. Make sure you subscribe to the gang. Link is in the description. And yeah, Saturday I'll be back for the watch along tomorrow. Pod 1 p.m. will be live. More trolling, blood. So you lot enjoy that one as well. But until then, up the gun. And yeah, pray for me, fam. Clown Lake out, Southgate.